Cherubini was started in 1967, purchased by the current owners, Renato and Danilo Gasparetto, in 72. And they've taken it from primarily an ornamental railing shop to what we see today, which is a multi-million dollar state-of-the-art fabrication facility. We're starting a project, uh, it's going to be for downtown Toronto in an area called Portland's. We're going to be fabricating four bridges for that location. We have an environmental approach to everything that we do. A lot of our products are 90% recyclable. One of the things that Cherubini is being very progressive with going forward is we are trying to reduce the manganese levels that we have uh, in the shop as well, which has actually helped forge our relationship with Translas. Air quality systems that capture the dust and fume once it's been let out into a huge facility like this um, are largely ineffective unless you have massive systems to deal with changing the air volume and filtering it. Looking at source capture for these things is, is the ultimate solution, we believe. One of the things that we knew that we needed to do was we needed better protection in the shop for the employees and other people that are walking throughout the shop as well. Um, one thing that Translas has afforded us with their uh, source capture is now we're actually removing the welding fume right at that point of contact. I mean, if you can capture something before it escapes into the atmosphere, into your shop, then you don't have to worry about trying to trap it later. Stopping the problem before it becomes a problem, that's key. It's protecting the employee doing the welding and it's also protecting the other employees walking throughout the shop at the same time. We have uh, multiple fabrication facilities, so it's very important to us that we actually have the ability to move the welder throughout the unit. We're doing a lot of confined space work right now, so the units are going from bay to bay to bay, and the welder, we haven't introduced any more weight to the system that we're using, so it's quite flexible. It's actually probably even more flexible than what we had before. One thing that we discovered with the equipment after we've been using it for a few weeks, it was actually helping to uh, correct some of the bad habits and, and welding techniques that our operators had, our welding operators. Um, the gun, the nice thing about the gun, it's engineered to design to operate within a certain uh, range of parameters, whether it be your drag angle, your work angle, your lead drag angle. So the gun is correcting those bad habits for us, and that was just an added benefit that we picked up without even knowing it was going to be there. Investing in the training to get these guns working the way that they're designed to be designed to be used will make this will make them ultimately successful in capturing that smoke before it gets out into the atmosphere. And that's that's the whole goal of buying these guns. We believe this is the future and I think we'll see other other fabricators get on board with this and we would recommend that that anybody in this in this business uh, look into this source capture welding guns.